Disneyland decided to permanently take away Splash Mountain. What? That's right. In honor of Black History Month, woke Disneyland says we're going to get rid of Splash Mountain forever to protect the hearts and feelings of black people. We don't want them to go on a ride and hear zippity doo da zippity yay because that is a slavery song and it's about slavery and it makes black people feel like slaves. That's what Disney executives think. Now, I was a kid. I went to Splash Mountain. It made me think of fun songs. It made me think of getting splashed and it made me think of mountains plus the little birds and the cartoons interacting with human beings. It was quite an amazing thing. Not only that, did you know the black gentleman who sang Zippity Doodah was one of the first ever Academy Award winners of all time? So Disney is now erasing black history, trying to protect white people who want to virtue signal on behalf of black people. That's really what's going on here. Check it Flash out. Flash Mountain is one of Disney's most popular rides, but those animatronic characters are actually based off of their most controversial film. Song of the South was released by Disney in 1946 and has been widely criticized for its depiction of African Americans and slavery. It's been seen as the company's most offensive and racist film. It was also so hated that the film was never released to home video in the US. Disney Plus streams a lot of the brand's outdated films with the trigger warning, but Song of the South was deemed too racist to be included in the streaming service at all. The only legacy really right now that the movie is kind of still leaving with us is Splash Mountain and fans are like, whoa, Black Lives Matter, we gotta change all this. So they did just that. One Twitter user wrote, if Splash Mountain is based on a film that Disney won't even re-release because of widely acknowledged racist stereotypes, maybe it doesn't need its own ride anymore. Another Twitter user shared some images for how Splash Mountain could be reimagined into a Princess and the Frog themed ride, as this could highlight Disney's only black princess while also removing a controversial part of the ride. People were loving the idea and even started a change.org petition to ask Disney for the switch. One user tweeted out the petition to Disney saying, quote, please consider this. What a great way to update an outdated ride and show your support for the black community. Song of the South shouldn't have a place in the parks anymore. Oh, yes. So uh, you cannot ride that ride without being triggered and being a virtue signaler and being a progressive. I will not ride Splash Mountain. It offends me. <laughs> yes, I go to private school. I'm a white woman who goes to Target on weekends. I'm offended for the little blacks who can't do anything for themselves. I bet if you pulled black people and said, hey, would you like a free ticket to Disneyland, but you got to ride Splash Mountain? They'd be like, hell yeah. I'm like a black history month. Come up, baby. Black History Month done come up. And they would take that thing. Now watch this. Virtue signaler, a whole group of them, try to pretend they're offended by zippity doo zippity a. Remember, the first ever Academy Award winning, that black gentleman who sang the song could be a legend, but now gone forever. CNN, take it away. Splash Mountain ran dry. After 31 years, riders took their final splash down before it closed for good on Sunday, with some waiting nearly four hours at the height of the day. Disney announcing in 2020 that it was planning to reimagine the ride after mounting complaints for its connection to the 1946 film Song of the South, which has been criticized for racial stereotypes and its nostalgic view of the post-Civil War South. The ride will be redesigned with Disney's Princess and the Frog in mind, a movie featuring Disney's first black princess, Tiana. Still, a 2020 Change.org petition to save Splash Mountain is still getting signatures with 99,000 people supporting the movement so far. The petition says that people don't understand one of the characters in Song of the South, who many have deemed to be a stereotype of a spiritual black man and claims there is a misunderstanding of his relationship with his employers on a Georgia plantation, which takes place after the Civil War. It goes on to say modifying Splash Mountain will not change history and will only encourage the easily offended to continue making <laughs> desperate attempts at finding offensive and additional attractions. Okay, that was a lot. I mean, <laughs> I it's a lot in general. Like, <laughs> yeah, it, for you. Uh, look. But there's a lot there. Yeah, the culture wars are exhausting. I mean, I won't be playing Dumbo yeah. in my house, but I mean, Disney knows that, right? That's why they have yeah. made the changes they have. Thank, thank, thank you, you Audie. I, someone messaged that. me it's after your last segment thing. with us in the 6 a.m. hour and said how great it was, and I said she's a gift to our network. Oh, you thank you, Thanks thank you, here. thank you. Check world. us in the mail. You can listen. <laughs> Audie's a gift to your ears, too. If you watch her, she doesn't smile much. She's permanently offended by something. She is brought on to explain to us all why what we've done is wrong.
She probably went to Berkeley and CNN hires her to come on and tell us and educate us. What kind of person is that? When you go on TV, you try to bring the laughs, the fun, but when you're a permanent victim, all that is gone. You're just a robot that's there to explain why this country is wrong. And by the way, can I please get my reparations? Thank you. You took away Splash Mountain, Uncle Ben, Aunt Jemima, and now we can show Shikari Richardson on airplanes and Odell Beckham Jr. getting kicked out of first class. That's the kind of history we prefer over Uncle Remus. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity-heck.